some of those. Yeah, favourite. I want some of those. <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy. Help yourself. No fighting. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Mm. Yeah, well, <laughs> it would have been anybody else. Anybody else? <laughs> Hitler, Mussolini, Pol Pot. Then yes, I might agree. Oh yes, I'm a nurse and I say him and that's what nurses do. But let's pass us bit. <laughs> I'm still proud of you. Yeah, well, let's look on the bright side. We might have a relapse. Oh, you don't mean that. Yeah, don't I? Morning. Hi, oh, Sam. Hiya. What a hero, eh? You must be so proud of him. He just wishes it wasn't Les Battersby. Oh, well, yeah. Even so, you saved a human life. That must be a wonderful feeling. Yeah, well, there are worse. But I tell you this, if he comes asking me for compensation... Oh, he won't. Uh, even him. Right, well, I'll take him back to that bar and I'll plug him back in. <laughs> So, from next week, all this is yours. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean it. Oh, so you're going to walk out on the shop that you had to have that you persuaded Dad to buy for you? No way. Read the letter. Well, anyway, his wife's gone and walked out on him. Well, we don't know that. Of course we do. He's paying separately? Yeah. 32 pence each, then, please. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying is, she's not going to stop away long, is she? Not unless she's wrong in Ed. Yeah, but if he's been with somebody else... So, I don't care who he's been with. I wouldn't walk out in the kind of life she must have. So, they've offered you the job. It doesn't mean you're going to take it. I already have. This time next week, I won't be here. And you've told Dad? Hmm. He's none too happy about it. I'm not surprised. Well, he's still got the shop. Only you'll be running it for him instead of me. And let's face it, that's probably what he would have preferred in the first place. Hello, Audrey Roberts. Oh, can I have a word with Alma? Oh, Mike. Yeah, well, I say yes. I don't think she's up, to be honest. Um, we had a rather a late night. I'm glad to hear she's enjoying herself. Uh, I think I can hear her moving now. Hang on. Yep. Alma! Alma, it's uh, Mike. He wants to talk to you. Oh, no, I can't. What time is I'm just off to work. Oh, you shouldn't have let me drink like that. Come on, do you want to talk to him or not? Oh, I suppose I'd better. Oh, before you go, where'd you keep your paracetamol? I'll get you some. Thanks. <clears throat> Hello? I hear you've been out on the tiles again. Um, no, no, not, re <clears throat> not really. We just, um, we just went for a meal. Well, I think we should have a word, don't you? Yeah, yeah, if you like. Yeah, but not on the phone. Uh, what's our put round to you? Half an hour's time? Yes. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, bye. Um, uh, yes, um, do you, do you think you could uh, make it a bit uh, later than uh... half an hour, say, um, <clears throat> a couple of hours? Well, give you time to get over your hangover. Uh, no, no, I've got, um, I've got things to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you have. All right, well, I'll see you in a couple of hours, then. I'll be round there. Bye. Bye. Oh. And are you all right? Right as rain. Best night's sleep I've had in years. And what were it like, being electrocuted? Like being run over by a steamroller, only a jet-propelled steamroller. You don't see it coming, then wham! Morning, all. Morning. Hiya. My father sent me to see how Mr. Battersby's doing this morning. Have you, you know, got over the shock of it? Well, no. Not really, no. And according to what the doctors were saying, I might never do. Well, Dad says he let you know by the microphone. He's checking it out now. I'll see you later. Do it, sir. Ta da. I love. What do I have to do, eh? Get myself gift trapped and delivered to his front door. Oh, love, it's the countryside. They're a lot slower around here. I think they are. If his old man thinks all that matters is his microphone still works. Well, he'll be the one getting the shot when I get back home and start talking to my lawyer. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're not having any more of that. What? Compensation. Cos of what happened before, when you nearly died the last time. And what did we get? Not one penny piece, except everybody calling us because you lost Martin Platt's job. Or oh, no less, we are not having any more of that. 
Um, anyway, Martin Platt saved your life this time. So? So, don't you think you should go over and thank him? Yeah. He's a nurse. That's his job. Not when he's on his holidays, he isn't. He could send you a bill. All right, I'll thank him. I'll thank him when I've had my tea. And just tell her she can't. She can do what she wants. She's over the age of 18, just as you constantly keep reminding me that you are. You bought the shop for her. So it has taught me a lesson. I shall no more do anything to help my children. You, I will leave on your own to make your own way. I can't believe this. You think it's funny. Isn't it? And not for me. Ah! So that might be the reason why you're getting so worked up. Because you're thinking, who's going to stay here when Nita goes? Who will work night and day <laughs> to keep the place open? E well, yeah. And the answer is? <laughs> me. Good man. I knew I could rely on you. So what if my daughter's deserting me, so long as I have a son to rely on? <clears throat> your brother thinks I should keep you here and not let you go on your supermarket jaunt. Yeah, well, he would, wouldn't he? And we both know why, eh? Oh, yes, we do, don't we? Poor lad running this place. He won't have the time to go buying his clothes or having his hair cut. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm letting you down, aren't I? You certainly are. Well, it doesn't mean I don't love you and that I'm not grateful for everything. It's just... One has to make one's own mistakes. And you certainly are doing. <laughs> Recovered from your hangover yet? It was just a meal. Which, I might add, was the first time I'd been out properly since I got here. God, I bet it's one long party for you and the Merry Widow. Men by the coach loads. Do you want a coffee? Well, I can see you could do with one, so I better answer yes. Right. While you're at it, look at it from my point of view, will you? I've had to come to somebody else's house for the privilege of speaking to my wife. My wife who walked out on me two weeks ago and since then hasn't even bothered to find out if I'm dead or alive. You think about that. Because I haven't been out on the town, believe you me. I'll get you coffee. He saved your life. So he says. We'll never know, will we? I might have come too on my own. In fact, I might have come too faster. Les! Oh, don't worry, I'm going to thank him all the same. And you know why? Just to stop you going on and on and on at me. I'm never going anywhere with him again. Do you know, I think that's the reason <sighs> that Owen don't want out to do with me. Cos my stepdad's like Camp Joe. Oh, we shy, love. Give him a chance. A chance? We're going home on Friday. Morning. Morning. Er, uh, that, that doc at the hospital, he was, uh, he was saying that you probably saved my life last night. Well, I just want to say thank you. And that's just not from me, it's, it's from the missus as well. Yeah, well, I had no choice. It's what I'm trained to do. Sometimes I do things without thinking. Oh, I, I'm like that with a lot of things, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, y you must let me buy you a drink. Tonight, eh? Uh, no, Les, there's just no need. Never mind that, it's what I want to do. Oh, and uh, forget all that aggro we had before. That's all behind us now. Oh, and you, you can bring your hair and there'll be a drink in it for them as well. OK. Got a friend for life, then? Yeah, well, I don't want a friend for <laughs> life. Well, not that one. <sighs> the man that saved Les Battersby. <laughs> eh? No one's going to talk to me now. We might as well just move somewhere different where I'm not going to get recognised. <laughs> I mean, you go on about the kind of life you think I'm leading. Out on the town, yeah. I mean, I haven't noticed you going out of your way to find out how I've been. Because I've had other things on my mind. Like getting Greg Kelly done for blackmail. Trying to get my £10,000 back. And I don't mind telling you. I haven't managed to do either. And are rather than things that really matter? Well, I suppose not, but they did at the time. So are you managing at home, then? All right, yeah. I mean, I've lived by myself before. It's worse at night when you've got time to think. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't turn the clock back. I just... I don't know what you want me to do. Neither do I. Ah, oh, there you go. Then. No, I just need some time. Ah! Oh. I do! And I suppose you're getting that here, are you? Out every night with Audrey? It is not every night. 
I mean, think about what? I mean, what is there to think about? I was set up, right? I was conned out of 10,000 pounds. Now, are you saying that that is not true? No. Oh, well, thank you. Now, at least we're getting somewhere. Yeah, but you still had an affair with that Julia woman. It was not an affair. How many times do I have All to... All right, you only met her the once. I did. But it was still enough to make me wonder whether you really love me. <sighs> I find this amazing. One little mistake wipes everything else out. All those years we had together, all the things I had to forgive you for. Oh, please. Well, I'm sorry to bring that up, but... I was never unfaithful to you. Now I've got a splitting headache. You may not have exactly been unfaithful to me, but you were certainly thinking about it. Yeah, and what about you? I mean, if she hadn't been blackmailing, you'd still be seeing her. And if Stephen Reed hadn't oh. turned you down, you'd still have been seeing him. And now our marriage is going down the pan because you've got such a hangover, you can't even think straight. Or is it because you've been talking to that loony pal of yours, eh? Listening to her too much. Is that it, eh? Is that it? She's pulling your strings, is it? No. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. So you need time to think. How much time do you think you need? If I came back tomorrow, do you think you'd be up to it then? Yeah. Well, I hope so. Because there is a lot at stake. Our future for a start. You think about it. I'll come back tomorrow. And you tell me what you want to do. I'll see myself out. One eighty meter. Thanks very much, love. Thanks. Still enjoying your new job? Yeah, it's all right. Anyway, I'm not so new now. Nearly done a month now. Mm. Do you know what I've done? I was working it out this morning. Go on. 30 years to the day. Oh, yeah, since Mrs Walker offered me part-time. My Cyril, he bet me tuppence that I wouldn't last a week. He'd be surprised if he saw me still at it, wouldn't he? <laughs> I mean, have you noticed he's not been in this morning? Well, it doesn't mean his wife's left him. Anyway, what she has is none of our business, is it? You make me laugh, you. You're just as nosy as I am, but you think you have to pretend you're not. Any road, Deirdre's just come in. I'm going to ask her. Do you want another drink while I'm up there? OK. So that's one cheese sandwich? Yes, please, Betty. Right. Jack, yeah. come on. Deirdre wants serving. Right off. Yes, Deirdre. Uh, can have a red wine, please, Jack? Coming up. Thanks. Uh, Jack, yeah. is Natalie about? She's about somewhere, lovey, aren't All right. Could you tell her I'd like a word, please? Will do. Can I have a pint of bitter and an orange juice, please? Pint of bitter and an orange. Coming up. It's not true about Mr and Mrs Baldwin splitting up, is it? Well, I, uh, I don't think that's any of our business, do you? That's what I said. <laughs> Only you know what folk are like once a tale like that gets round. Yeah, I do. Well, thirty-five. Cheers, Jack. Thank you. I'll give Natalie a shout for oh, you. Oh, thanks very much. Somebody said it were all to do with that Greg Kelly business. But, I mean, how could it be? Well, it's no use asking me. You're obviously better informed than I am. But they have split, have they? I haven't said that. No, but you've not denied it. That's, uh, 2.25. Um. Rita, you wanted me. Uh, yes, it's just something I thought you should know, if you don't already. Something Betty happened to mention. I think Dad's finally coming round to the idea. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Mm. I know he blamed you, and I'm really sorry. But I do think he's beginning to understand. Can't say I am. Well, no. That's because you're afraid you might have to do some work for once in your life. Uh, I'll just... Uh... So can I apply? Because I don't want to stay here either. Yeah, yeah, of course you can apply. And uh, will you fix it for me like you did for her? Will you shut up, Vikram? I didn't fix anything. 
<laughs> oh, sure. So when, uh, when she took you out and fluttered her eyelashes at you, that didn't make any difference? Ignore him. Like I said, he's annoyed because he's afraid he might have to work for a living. And no, if I'm annoyed, and I am, of course I am, it's because you have landed me in it, and you know you have. Right, I'll just... Uh, all because you've been able to twist him around your little Look, finger. Look, Nita got that position she's been offered because she was the strongest candidate. Now, if you really want to apply, then do so. So when do I take you out for lunch? That had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Bye, Curly. What are you trying to do, Vikram? Get me fired before I even start. There's not much point with him, is there? <sighs> Why can't you just be happy for me, eh? Why can't somebody in this family just say congratulations? We hope it works out. Yeah, well, I do. <sighs> so why all this? Because. Where does it leave me? Stuck here. I'll talk to Dad. See if we can get someone in to help you out. Yeah. The kind of help I need is the kind you've had. Someone to help me out of here. Left you on your own, have they? Kids wanted to go to the beach. Well... They're at their age, aren't they? Whereas Ma tell you, she don't know what she wants. Spends her time moping. Les has gone to bed. I think that electricity's got up with him. Martin said he'd done well to recover so fast. Well, it's thanks to you and Martin he's recovered at all. He did come over and apologise, didn't he? This morning, yeah. <laughs> he said. But you never know. Your caravan's a lot nicer than ours. It's not bad. Do you want to come in and have a look around? Could make us a cup of tea. Yeah. I wouldn't mind one. I'm not disturbing you, though, am I? I was just about to make one for myself. Oh, you're still tempted. Oh, I always will be. There's no harm in being tempted, as long as you don't give in. You would not believe the trouble I've had trying to get her to come in. Who better? Yeah. I told her we were short-staffed, would she mind? Well, she's moaned and groaned. In the end, I've had to promise her a taxi to bring her and take her home. <laughs> she deserves it. 30 years, eh? Yeah. So what we need now is a cake. Any volunteers? <laughs> thought so. Which is why I've ordered one from the co-op. No, he were a nice lad, your Nick. I were delighted when Leanne brought him home. And now he's left her and run off to Canada. Well, I... But you never know which are gonna work and which aren't. It's a right lottery. Martin's your second, isn't he? Yeah. Well, look at me and Les. I mean, most folk wouldn't give us six months when we got wed. <laughs> Mind, sometimes I wish they'd have been right. All right, there. Yeah? Are you going to the dance tonight? What? And watch me husband get zapped again? Only there's something I need to talk to you about. If you're maybe going to be outside, say, 8 o'clock? Yeah, I'll find you, love. Don't worry. Ta-da. See ya. Funny lad. <laughs> I think he's after our toy, yeah. What were I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what most folk must think about me and Les, cos more often than not, I'm thinking it myself. But he does love me. I mean, I, I know he lies about stuff, and he's born idle, and he fancies other women. But he does love me. And there's nobody else ever done that. I told her we were short-staffed. So she's no idea. No. Nope. Mind you, she's not here yet, so she might not be coming anyway. <laughs> Take one yourself, love. Oh, it's hot. And how are you, Michael? Still making money and over fist? Struggling to make a living, if that's what you mean. Here, have you got your divorce yet? No, not yet. What do you want to bring up a thing like that for? You put me right off my drink. Oh, just think it. It must be great to be free of all the complications and aggravation that women tend to bring with them. Well, I... Though it can get cold in bed of a night. You do miss them sometimes, even when you get to my age. I see you do miss them. Do you think our Jack's looking all right? Yeah, he looks great. He's making a real effort, you know. Oh, I Stop smoking, cut down on the booze. But I'm wondering if it's a bit harmful, you know, to your body, when you've been used to a regular intake. You mean he's been running that long on nicotine and alcohol, he might suffer from withdrawal symptoms? Well, yeah. I don't think it works like that. Oh, oh well. Well. You know how 
to make an entrance. Oh, right. Well, I'm not stopping here to be made fun of. Hey, hey, hang on, Betty. Listen, I'm five minutes late and there's all this palaver. I don't know why you want to be in the first place. We've got Betty, all you lot behind the bar. We what? have got you here so we can say... Well, happy 30th anniversary! Yay! You can make them. Well, come on, you can at least cut your cake. Oh, well, go on then. A she's a jolly good fellow. A she's a jolly good fellow. A she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Hip, hip. Hip. You'll give me an heart attack, you. I wanted to see you. Yeah, well. Listen. What I'm going to say to you now, I mean every word of it, right? So I don't want no argument. What we've been doing, and I know it hasn't got very far, but even though it's, it's not right. Yes. No. And I'm to blame, because I'm a lot older than you. I'm not saying that I haven't liked it, that I haven't been flattered, and yet I'll admit, it's made me think things that I really shouldn't have been thinking. But you should. No. Owen, I'm a married woman and I'm staying married. But you can't want to. Yes, I can. Janice, I've seen the way you look at Les when he's playing the fool, and I can tell by your face what you're thinking. I know. But see, you can still love someone, even if you find fault with him. In fact, it can make you love them all the more because they need you. I know that might sound daft to you at your age, but maybe you'll remember it one day. Anyway, over there's our caravan. And inside it is our Toya. It would be chuffed to bits if you just took her out for a night. Whether you do or not, it's up to you. I'm just saying. But I want you. I'm sorry. I'm spoken for. Here, so uh, who's been your favourite landlady? Oh, well, <laughs> go on, you can tell the truth. I don't mind. So long as it's what you want to be here. Uh -oh. Yeah, well, go on then. Mrs. Walker. Oh, well, what, that crow? Oh, I just think she's how a landlady should be. Mm. Oh, that's that. very good. Mike, mm. tell me to mind my own business. But um, is Alma still with Audrey? Yeah. Oh, geez. Still, I'm seeing her tomorrow. I should find out then whether I've still got a marriage or not. She was a real old fashioned.